Okay, good morning, my good friends. This is going to be a quickie. This is Phil Harris, who took the mud fossil challenge, went out and in less than 15 minutes found this mud fossil heart. That is the the seam that that seams the heart. You see this? That, that line that runs all around the heart. That's where this is right here is this right here. And he, his is sitting like this, and it's snapped, and this is off. And he's looking into the chamber of the heart. <laughs> Literally, he's got, he just did an operation. That's the red blood. And then, of course, over here is where it, it is in the transition phase of sending the dark, and I mean the clean and the, and the used blood through the heart over to the lungs. So we just saw his heart, I just showed you this heart, and now I'm gonna show you uh, ones that when they start to transition. That, that is, this thing here is that, and this is the blood that was from this heart. It's transitioning. Now, transitioning means what was in here originally was blood. Well, blood is made up of blood cells, and blood cells, when they die and they you, they explode internally they literally explode they're like a ball and it goes whoop, and all of the organic contents goes out of it but the carbon bags these are carbon bags there's two layers of carbon there's a carbon bag on the outside and a carbon bag on the inside that creates the cell um, membrane and everything inside that cell membrane is all the gooey stuff that makes your life work but that cell membrane isolates that stuff from the rest of your body and that's there's a lot of issues with cell membranes leaking and causing all kinds of issues that's another story but the cell membrane has to encapsulate that organic tissue in the center of that every single cell and these every single one of that those little cells on his finger is is from a carbon bag and his still has some a lot of organics in there but once that goes away and the red blood will just it will just can go away and go away and go away until you get a tiny little bit of red blood left and then you have a clear heart that is diamond and that's what you get when you get to this phase everything this also has that little hook it's right over uh, where did I find it? it's it's right over here I think I think that's the little hook but it, anyway you see how the blood same thing it gets the blood here gets down to the end and all of the organics go away. That's called transitioning. That's what I don't think the the uh, geologists understand. We're gonna have we're gonna straighten out on geology. And and the same thing with this. That's another heart that has transitioned away. I mean it's not and, and that's what they find in these kimberlite tubes. Now I'm gonna show you that and then we'll close this up. Alright, kimberlite comes in a couple of different varieties. One is the lung type of kimberlite where you got a lot of blood and then you got chunks, uh, I mean you got a lot of matrix and then you got chunks of blood. And then the other style is the heart style which I just showed you that it, it, it transitions in, in its entirety to a diamond. Now that's, a, that's from I believe from a lung. When you see those chunks in there, and I have a lung over here, I'll show you, that did not transition into diamonds, but it transitioned into the matrix loaded with the blood that did not go into the, the diamond phase. All right, th this is a lung. Now, this lung, and these are the little alveoli in the lung, the holes in the lungs that ha where the air passes through and... You know, you respirate through there. Now, you can see that it's, it looks like some kind of granite or, or uh, sedimentary stone. It's not. It's a lung. And these things will transition in so many different ways. And I haven't figured them all out yet. I got a lot of them figured out, but not all of them. But that's a lung. Now, this one here was a lung that literally bled, just gushed blood out of there. We came right out of blood, gushing. And I have another one over here somewhere. No, so I've shown it enough times, I don't have to show it again. But it's, um, it was DNA tested, and it's all, and it's, it's a human lung. And, and these things will transition in so many different ways, but they start out as some kind of biology. And depending upon the conditions that they they end up in, 
like this is a lung too. That's not that. It, see, it's a totally different situation. Totally different. And what happens to the inside of your body is the blood goes down in red. Like this is the outside of the skin or the tissue. I'm not sure what this is, but blood comes in red. All right. And then it works its way through these tiny, tiny, tiny little holes. And it ends up coming back to a place where the vein pulls it back up to the heart and lungs. Right. And you always have like some kind of like this rind around that is the, the protective coating. Sometimes they get like in this phase here where it just turns into solid blood. See, that's that little pocket. That one there, you know, it depends on how they are. And I don't know, I gotta be honest with you, there's so much variation that it's, it's just a huge study that has to be done. Absolutely enormous study. There's another one, that's one turned into iron. That's, that's an iron lung now. just the way it is. There's, a, there's so much variety here and there's so much to study and it's just being avoided. It's very, very distressing. Anyway, we, we, it's not going to be avoided anymore. We're working this case hard.